Hello everyone, this is Diane. This is just going to be a little what's on my desk and a little bit of work on um, a journal that I'm almost done with. Just a quick journal. Um, this is still Saturday. The previous video was filmed on Saturday, um, but I was interrupted when my daughter-in-law called and I ended up talking to her and then to my son for a while. And I did work on the journal some more after that, and I baked my cake, but it's not a chocolate layer cake. I just didn't feel up to that much work, so I did a chocolate bundt cake. It's cooling right now, and I just have to make a glaze to put on it. And I can have that for dessert tonight. And then I can cut it up and put it in my freezer. And speaking of baking, someone left a comment on a video. <coughs> Must be I talked about chocolate chip cookies. So, and I've talked about them before, so somebody wanted my recipe, so I'm going to give that to you today. But, remember when I did um, a collage with vintage documents and ledger pages and also the Tim Holtz tissue, collage tissue? So I did that on um, a full file folder. I cut it into half, so there were two pieces of the file folder, but I collaged the whole thing. And then I, um, after it dried, I got to cut it up. So I just wanted to show you. I, I told you I would show you the pieces after they were cut. So I got like eight tags. So the background is all vintage. This one ended up with just a little bit of the tissue on it, just some yellow, but then those stamps are there which help, and then this little purple stamped imprint there. So that was eight tags, and then I think I got four pockets I used the part of the folder with the tabs. I like to make tuck spots and pockets out of them. This one just has that little indent and then I rounded the corner. And then I got two journaling cards out of the remainder. So I got a lot out of one file folder. I also wanted to show you um, this fabric that I got in a trade. Um, one of my viewers was interested in my empty slide mounts, but she couldn't find them in my shop. And that's because they're not in my shop anymore. Um, I had so many of those empty slide mounts, and it took a while, but they did sell out. And they were very, very popular. And I, all I have left is what I kept to use. But I had quite a few, so I told her I would send her some. She had this fabric she wanted to send me. So I said that we would do a trade. I would send her some slide mounts and she would send me the fabric. Well, this is a huge piece of fabric. It is doubled, like it's it's lined, I should say. So I believe it's a curtain, maybe, but it's very nicely done and it's quite a heavy fabric. So this will make beautiful journal covers, but it's more than I need, but how beautiful is that? The black. I, love, I like the toile in different colors, but I love the black and the cream. So this is a pastoral kind of a scene, country setting, a lady with a basket and some children with a donkey. There's a goat down here. There's a girl on a swing. It's very nice. I could take all these different vignettes and make journals with it. Before we get into the journal project, oh, also she sent this card. She wrote on it, but then she thought that I could use this for something, and I certainly will. It is so cute. Now, before I get into working on the journal to finish up the signatures, here's my chocolate chip recipe. I will hold it here. Um, I don't usually use the recipe because I've made it so much. I just, I know it. 
but I brought the recipe in here because I wanted to show it to you and I knew if I tried to tell it to you I would f forget. That's me. So you have two cups of shortening, one and one third cup, and my sister uses one cup of shortening and one cup of butter. Um, one and one third cups of sugar, one and one third cups of brown sugar, four eggs, two teaspoons of baking soda, four and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of salt, two to four tablespoons of water, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Those are your ingredients. So you blend the shortening and the sugars together and add the eggs. I use my beaters for those steps. And then you mix up your flour, soda, and salt. You can add your vanilla. I'm sorry, add your... When I made this at home, this is the recipe we made when when we were teens. That's the recipe my mother made and my sisters and I made it. And the vanilla was always added at the end with the water, but in most recipes, the vanilla is added with the sugars and the eggs. So if I remember, I do that now. <laughs> so your two teaspoons of vanilla. Um, actually, I think this is a doubled recipe. That's why there's so much, but hey, it's great. So anyway, after you um, have your shortening sugars, eggs, and vanilla mixed together, then you mix up your dry ingredients your flour, your salt, and your soda. Kind of, I stir them with a whisk. Um, or I pour them into a little uh, strainer, the little strainer with a handle. I'll put the flour in there and the soda and salt and then just kind of shake it and kind of hit it with my hand until it sifts down into the bowl. It works better than a sifter. Um, so you stir that, it gets, it's pretty dry, and then you add your two to four tablespoons of water. So add two, stir it, and see if you need to add more. I usually end up adding the four tablespoons. And then you add 12 ounces or two cups of chocolate chips. I buy the big bags of chocolate chips from Sam's Club. So I add in my two cups and then I'll take some with my hand and throw some in just to have some bonus chips. Bake it at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. But what I do, I just bake a few, unless I'm giving some to my kids and I'll bake a couple sheets and give them some. But the rest I put on a cookie sheet. You can spray it or put down some parchment paper or even wax paper because it's not gonna go in the oven. And then take a, a little scoop and just scoop some balls of dough on it and then put it cover it with saran wrap Put it in the freezer until the, the dough balls are frozen and then you can put them in a freezer bag, Ziploc freezer bag, and put them in your freezer. And when I want warm cookies, all I have to do is take a few cookies out of that bag and put them on a cookie sheet and bake them. So that's the recipe that someone requested, so there you go. So I started working on this penguin journal for my friend who loves penguins and she gave me some of the pieces like the stickers and you know what? I used all the stickers. I didn't think I would but I did. And I could have used a few more. So I just want to do the last signature, finish the last signature. But I want to make some of these paper clips that I started in the first video and forgot how to do it. So I have, these are little paper penguins that she had given me to work with. I glued them to white cardstock so that they'd be sturdier. And then I traced, traced it onto white cardstock again and cut another piece. So now I'm gonna take my paper clip and put the small end of it, the shorter end, over the white penguin shape and I'm just going to put the three-in-one glue there and put the whoops my paper clip slipped put 
put the penguin on top and press it down till it's good and stuck. I'm just going to do one more. I'll finish the rest of them later. If I don't use them all in the book, I can just give the remainder to my friend and she can use them. Doesn't even have to use them in this book. She can use them wherever she wants. I'm going to give her those adorable penguin the uh, penguin notepad that I have because I used uh, six sheets but I'll give her the rest and she can just have that. Okay, so I'll just set them aside until I'm ready to put them in the book. So this is the penguin notepad I was talking about. Isn't that so cute? I think I didn't do this on the other ones, but do I want to... Oh. Do I want to add some washi tape to the bottom? Nah, I don't think so. So I also had someone comment on a video that she doesn't use digis and maybe she can't print them. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't have a printer, but she said she can't use digis and she can't, she doesn't have a sewing machine, so she can't make a journal. And I said that when I first started making journals, I never used digitals and I didn't sew in my journals at first. Before long I was sewing in them, but it's definitely possible to make a journal without digital kits and without sewing. So this journal is evidence of that. I was going to sew the lace on the edge, but then I thought, no, I'm going to glue it and I'm going to just do this whole video or this whole journal without sewing and with no digis gotta glue this down a little better. So I glued the lace on the edge. I had glued the pom-pom trim on. You saw me do that. And then I glued this penguin on. Which is the one I need to do. Guess I already started this one. So here's an example of one of the stickers that I used. And then I, I'm stamping just some quotes and things. Um, and she's a Christian. She goes to my church. So I also stamp some scripture stamps. There's ledger page. There's one of the cards that she gave me. I just put a strip of leftover scrapbook paper down here and added a label and one of her stickers. It's fuzzy. Now, I think that's where I left off. She had given me this fabric ribbon with penguins on it, so I put that there instead of the scrapbook paper and stickers. For the music page, I don't have a sticker to use. Oh. I have these, but they, I was using them for something else. Let's see if I have something I can cut. Sorry for reaching in front of the camera. Yeah, I've got some pieces I can cut. I can cut wrapping paper and this wrapping paper. All right, so I'm just going to put a little strip of, this is just a cut off from like a grid paper, but it's funky shaped. It's like diamonds, but it had blue. Can you see it? The lines are blue and I'm using blue in this journal. So that's why I chose that. And I didn't want to cover up all the music. So I'm just putting a strip on it that she can write on. I asked her if she wanted to use the journal for writing or just a place to put her penguins, and she said both. So I don't think she journals a lot, but I could be wrong. But she does have journaling space in here. There are lots of blank pages for writing, or as she accumulates more penguin images, she can just glue them onto the pages.
I'm going to decorate it with a little piece of washi tape. gift wrap. There's tape on that part. I guess I'll use this one. Oh, there's tape on that one too. Oh well. The cellophane will yellow over time. <laughs> I don't think it yellows as much as the old, old cellophane did though. pretty nice out. I haven't been out except I had to go out to my shed to put some stuff in my shed. And I should take a walk but I just am not feeling great today just because I'm not sleeping. It messes me up big time. So maybe when I, if I go get my mail today. Maybe I'll just take a loop around, a little extra walking before I pick up my mail. Yesterday I did that and then my mailbox was empty. But I did get a package today on my porch and it was from my friend Laura, uh, one of my viewers. She told me I didn't have to open it on camera, so I didn't know if she preferred that I didn't, so I didn't. But she sent me, one of the things she sent me was this book, Little Wonders, Animal Babies and Their Families. And one of the uh, spreads in there was these penguins. took them out. I thought that was perfect timing and I just trimmed that to have it ready. Um, when I opened up my laptop um, Google has a different scene or picture there and I can click on whether I like it or not. I usually don't bother but if I like it they'll leave it and give me similar pictures they say and if I click that I don't that I'm not a fan of it then they take it away but I haven't been doing it. I just, it's just a picture that's there when I first opened the laptop. But today when I opened it, there was a penguin, mama and baby on it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Cause I was, like I said, I was in the other video, I was up in the night um, cutting the papers and I, Mod Podged the cover with the penguin image on it. So when I got up this morning, there's a penguin picture on my laptop. Here's where I'm gonna, oh, I can't use that pocket. I have to cut a different one. I had three pieces cut for my pockets, but I didn't really pay attention to what the pages were. 
that they would be going on, so that didn't work. Sturdier. I think I forgot to do that on the second one that I did. I just glued it in with the plain paper. I'm getting hungry now. I had my brunch at 10.30, I think. And now it's almost 5 o'clock. And I can smell the cake, but I need to eat dinner before I eat the cake. And I don't know what I'm going to have. I got some chicken breasts out, but I think I'll have that tomorrow, Sunday. White showing here. Yeah, I think I'll put, chop, cut it up and put it in the crock pot with some speedy sauce. Oh, I forgot. People around other parts of the country don't know what speedies are. Maybe. Tell me if you know. Have you ever heard of chicken speedies or pork speedies? It's a special speedy sauce that was invented. It's a special sauce for chicken and pork and stuff that was created in Binghamton, New York, and they have a speedy festival every year with hot air balloons and make a big deal out of it, but the original company has bottled speedy sauce that's they that they sell in the supermarkets around here. So, I don't know. I, I think it's just known locally. Tell me if you've ever heard of Speedy's. Anyway, it's just a seasoned chicken sauce or pork. So, I'm going to cut my chicken up into chunks and put it in the crock pot with the Speedy sauce. And I have a Schwann's baguette, which is really good. Long, loaf, skinny loaf of bread in the freezer so I can bake that, cut a piece of that off, and have my chicken on the baguette, make a sandwich out of it. That'll be tomorrow. Still don't know what I'm going to have today. Um, let's see, I need something to put in there. Oh, this guy. And I want to put this sticker on. Sorry if you can hear the noise outside. Loud engine and a barking dog. One of these stickers, little labels. They match. I think they're supposed to be address labels and envelope seals, but there's no address. It's blank. scripture stamp on this one. So I can figure out how to open this.
I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I put my trust. These stamps that don't have the image on the back of them you really have in the words, you really have to make sure that you're putting them right side up. You could stamp it on a scrap paper just to make sure, but I'm living dangerously. This one, I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to put him on white card stock and make a tuck spot. This one I did a white penguin with black card stock, and I used my little white Signo pen and this, this guy here. Uniball signal and on the other book I had a black one on white cardstock and I just used a little black marker around it. Maybe I would have, if I was sewing in this book, maybe I would have stitched around it just to give it some interest around the edges, but I just did it with my pens. Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, but any black pen, very fine tip marker or pen, and I'm just drawing kind of a squiggly line. And then another one, just around the open edges. I guess that kind of indicates which parts aren't glued down. Just at a glance, it just when you look at it, you kind of know that's a pocket. So my smoke alarms went off like three or four times today. It's like whenever I cook just have the oven on. I hadn't even put anything in the oven yet. Or I thought that if I close my bedroom door that it helps, which I think it does because that smoke alarm seems to get triggered. I don't know. So I thought I was okay, but I, I did forget to turn the fan on. I need a card. got this last Christmas, but I think I'm going to cut it because it's too big to fit in there. I hope she doesn't mind.
because I made um, popovers and I made some bacon. By then I had the fan on. So I don't think it went off while I was making the bacon. I don't know, but it went off several times. They went off. As soon as one goes off, they all go off. envelope. I'm um, going to take one of these little extra guys and glue them there. Just trimming the white off of him. opened up the envelope. This was from some stationery. I know he's going to be sideways, but I want him on the point like that. And I cut the word penguin out of that little children's book. Tried not to get too much, but that didn't work. In the other ones, the other envelopes, lost my cap again. I put a photo, but I don't have any more photos. I'll put this playing card in here, I guess. Running out of penguin stuff. Okay, so here I'm going to use another one of these and make a little collage. you the collages that I already did. That's a vintage milk ticket, but it's blue, so I used it. Oh, we're on, no, we're not on the back page. Where is it? It's here. So what do I have for collage? I have this label. I've been using a piece of that paper lace. Got more tickets.
I think I like a blue label. Let's see if I have a blue label. Well, silly, I have those. I have those label stamps that, and I have a little container. Oh, that won't come out. I have a little container of the label stamps that I already stamped and cut out. I wonder if there's blue in there. The way that snaps shut, I think I'm never going to be able to get it open now. Mm, there's blue. bad it's not a penguin it's a hedgehog I think I'll just cut this down make it a smaller tag That's going to work. So it looks like if I can get the signature done today that I can make the cover and sew it together tomorrow. So I'll have this project done over the weekend. Instead of having weekend play, um, I'll just get this journal done for my friend. She asked me to make it and she said she would pay me, but I told her I won't, won't take her money. She, the first winter after my husband passed away, we, we used to live really close together. And the first winter after he passed away, we had a lot of snow. And I had a long driveway and a lot of sidewalk to shovel. And I couldn't do it by myself. And she came to shovel for me, to help me shovel. Hmm. 
And when you have a friend like that, you don't take their money when you make them a journal. I don't know where I want this. I guess I want it like that. This one isn't like that. The envelope stays in the middle and this can go there. Okay. Just gonna stamp on this one and paper clip. Well, I don't have a photo to paper clip there. Sky proclaims the work of his hands. I'll just put a paper clip here and I'll know if I have to put something there. I ran out. I could put this last penguin here. I could back him onto cardstock because he's pretty thin. Looks kind of strange. I'll have to come up with something. Oh. bookmark so this would be great for that even though it'll be sideways she gave me two bookmarks and I figured I needed one more what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get some lined paper which I don't have in here with me so I'm not going to do it right now I don't think I do. This is a piece of scrapbook paper. Let's do that. Then I won't have to try to remember to go back and do it later. fold it and put it in the paper clip sorry that gives her a nice big journaling spot Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to put a stamp here. This one says, Live, Love, Dream. Got that for $1.24 at Hobby Lobby on clearance. I'm just going to put some washi tape up here because I don't have any more stickers. I had some black and white washi tape oh, right next to me. <laughs> put a tab on there. So I cut out some tabs in shades of blue and gray and black. These tabs are going on this page that is a little shorter than the other so it doesn't stick out of the book. They won't get bent. So there's one on the front and one on the back of that page. For this, I just want to cover that, so I'm going to use a scrap of my scrapbook paper I cut off. to add this address page for journaling and I'll stick this label on it. I think we're almost done with the signatures anyway. Then I'll have to make the cover. I just went around my room looking for blue stuff.
glue that right there. I made a bunch of these little sacks with my dye and I happen to have three blue ones that would go really nicely with this journal. I had two out of this paper and one out of that paper. They both came from the same paper pad. And that's what I need the bookmark for. I just put them on, put a sticker on, and inserted a bookmark. Here's a scrap, which is perfect. a little tall. I'm gonna trim it down. No, because the I got the tape there and I'll have to add more tape but it's already taped together so it's just gonna be the way it is. And I have I'll have three extra penguin paper clips that I'll just stick on the pages and she can add something. Um this bookmark doesn't have a hole for uh, fiber or anything, but because it has that clip on part. And this one had a red tassel. If I took the red tassel out, I'm going to put something blue in there. And yep. So that does it for the pages. All right, that's it for me today. I need to take a break and get this finished tomorrow. <coughs> and then I get to move on to a travel set of traveler's notebooks. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry. Hmm, yawning. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is my Saturday, and I don't know what day it's going to be when it, this video gets posted. So I will see you again for the next video. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.